Hello and welcome back. On this video, I'm going to quickly cover how to apply reverb to your vocals. So let's jump into it now and let's check out the process. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to the channel here where the actual instrument with all your vocals are on and we want to highlight it and press Command, Shift and G and then put it into a bus group, which I've already done here. So now this channel here is actually part of this bus group called Vocals. Now what we do is we go onto the vocals here, we then add our reverb to the bus channel and not the individual instrument. So if we listen to the vocal that we've processed so far up to this stage, and we listen to it without any of the reverb on, it will just sound like this. I thought I know. So ultimately it sounds really dry. It doesn't sound organic. We obviously need to put on some reverb. And the reverb that I like to use for vocals are plate reverbs. And the plate reverb that I like to use is Reverb Plate 140 by Artoria. Now if we just listen to this reverb on the vocals on its default setting, it will sound like this. I thought I know. That's way too much reverb. It's just kind of like shadowing out and draining out the mix. So we want to reduce that down so that it sounds a lot more organic and balanced with the vocal. So this is how we would do it. On this particular plugin, I like to put the decay time all the way up to the top. And then we go down here to the equalizer. We're going to tell it that from zero up to 500 hertz, we don't want there to be any reverb or echo whatsoever. We then want it to reverb from 550 upwards and we can give it a little boost by a couple of dB. And we can then adjust the blend with the dry and the wet to adjust it to taste. I thought I know. So that's still way too much. So let's bring down the blend. I thought I know. It's flat. Oh, I'm so shocked. I've seen this place before. So there you go, that sounds a lot better. So let's just quickly listen to it now with the track, with the reverb off, and then I'll bring the reverb in. I thought I know this flat. Oh, I'm so shocked. I've seen this place before. And that's it. That's all you have to do just to apply a simple reverb that sounds nice and balanced with the track where it's not too much, where it's washing out the mix and it's not too little where you can't hear anything. It's a nice balance between the two. On the next video, I'm going to quickly cover how to add a delay to this vocal using read write automation to bring in and out the delay. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.